Well, so far so good. First of all, a couple of years after independence, uh, maybe about seven years after independence, we went through a civil war, which was very turbulent. But we have been able to come out of it quite successfully in the sense that uh, the country remained one from 1967 to 1970. And since then, all efforts, governments, both military and civilian, were all engaged in trying to keep the country united. And so far, we are still a united country. Well, I think it is, this is the challenges of governance. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, a lot of effort is being done to find a solution to the problems. And I know it will be found. It's a question of uh, time. As long as people are willing to talk, to engage themselves in trying to find a solution, a solution will come. My honest desire is to remain a strong and united country, prosperous, and living in peace with one another. Well, the younger generation, I think you need to do more in trying to read about the country, to try to find out what happened in the past, how we came about as a country, what happened, what role various people played, and come together. Uh, this is where you, one of you was talking about history. Once you know the history of the country very well, the effort being done by our founding fathers, then you have a road map that you can follow. So, Your Excellency, history has been cancelled from the curriculum in our schools. But it's being returned, isn't it? In some the states. Effort so. being we are just realizing the importance of it. That's why there is a cry now to reintroduce history in our schools so that the younger generations will know what happened. We have relied quite heavily on a single commodity oil and a lot of governments in the past were saying we should not de depend solely on oil. And various governments in this country have introduced a lot of measures that will take us away from that so that we have a diversified uh, economy. And uh, there has been a lot of good success in that. We just have no option but to continue diversifying the economy so and making it uh, open. The whole world economic changing was changing and we cannot be left alone. We have to follow what the others are doing in the world. And we came in at the time that the world is diversifying its economy and trying to make the economy more robust. So we joined the world to diversify our economy. Lastly, your advice to Nigeria. Remain confident, remain optimistic, and avoid being used as political pawns.